Hello, welcome to Japanese Beer Review. I'm your host, Andrew Shear, coming to you live from wonderful Kamikawamachi, Japan. Konnichiwa. Um, this is the first part of what I hope will be a long lasting series throughout my time here. I've been here about four months. A little bit of background I'm an English teacher. Chances are everyone who's watching this knows me, so I don't need to tell them that, but, you know, if somebody comes on YouTube, uh, I don't need to get into it. Right to the business of it. So, first beer we'll be trying tonight is Heartland. It's actually the only beer we're going to be trying tonight. Sorry to confuse you there. Um, the Heartland beer, I don't know if you can see it, the lighting here is kind of kind of weak. It's in a green bottle. A glass bottle, which is actually pretty strange for Japanese beers usually in cans. Um, just to read you the label, well label, it's etched in. Heartland, big tree. Every spirit and every season, everywhere, even here. Uh, I did some background, it's made by Keating. It's actually a, similar to Heartland Brewery in New York, there's a, a bar in Rapungi which is like America Town, if you ever saw that Simpsons episode. And, uh, yeah, they kind of brew their own beer. And I guess they sell it a bunch of stores. Whatever, they sell it near me, so it's got to be pretty available. It's my trusty Suntory Premium Malts Cup. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Come to Steve. Alrighty. Party. All right. Um, not that much foam. But that that was probably my fault. But a golden yellow. Um, got some bubbles. It's a good thing I got. Um, kanpai. Hmm. Nah. Not great. I should say it's a half liter bottle. It costs about three hundred yen. I think. About three dollars. Kind of weak. I mean, it's better than a lot of the hop osher you'll find, which is like the beer-like beverage. Not that impressed. Really not. It's all right though. It's not bad. Now, anyone who's been to Japan or, you know, yeah, if you've been to if you haven't been to Japan, you probably wouldn't know it. But it's very rare in America. You know, you go to a bar. You go to a bar, and you can just drink. There's no food. Maybe some peanuts, pretzels, if you're lucky. In America, no, rather, in Japan, they're always giving you food with your drinks. It's, you, you really do have to go to Rapungi or maybe... Why well, not? I mean, there's some places that do. But Japanese very rarely drink without eating. So, in honor of that, I bought a Fudomaki. I forgot the literal translation, but... It's like a big sushi roll, which is funny because they don't really have sushi rolls here. It cost me 378 yen at the Belk supermarket here. It's got some tamago, some egg, a couple of vegetables, some rice wrapped in... I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure what the word for seaweed is. Some people say nori, wakame, I don't know. It's wrapped in seaweed. Here we go. Whew. Makes you burp this beer. That's good. I got. Uh, got the tape off. Well, not. Ah, uh, there you go. Ah, uh, yeah. It's actually my second dinner tonight. Had a little make your own taco fiesta earlier. Ah, uh, right, here we go. Got the ginger. It's pretty good. Futomaki. Kind of too big to eat with chopsticks. So, just go for it. Show you. Trusty soy sauce. Mm. Gotta find the slit. There we go. I should mention the beer review does not qualify. Whoops, it is. Until the food is eaten, because food without beer here. 
you know, it kind of makes it taste differently. That might sound pretentious, though. Sorry. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, try with the beer. Wash it down. I really should have brought a watch. I'm going to do that next time. I have no idea what time we're at right now. Yeah, not a bad mix. Alright. Finish this up. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Japan. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Then I'm trying to think of things to say. So, bear with me. Ah. Yeah, not bad. I have to mention. Oh, yeah. You'll see a lot of Japanese people when they eat, or especially women when they laugh, go, hee hee So I've kind of gotten that habit. Um. Bit my lip. Um, I'm under my warm kotatsu right now. Got tatami mats. I'm in a 2LDK. It's not exactly sure what it means, but that's what they do. It's like a two, like a one bedroom, two bedroom. Whatever. It's the countryside. In Tokyo, like, this would be my whole apartment, so. Alright, well. Given the beer, might as well have a 1 to 10 system. Can't hurt. Um. For Japanese beer, it's about a 6. It's kind of weak, but. There's something about it, it tastes like a real beer though, which, which I think is good, because a lot of the Japanese beers here don't taste like real beer. Because they're not, sometimes. But. So give it a six, and cheers to that. Heartland beer. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Not that it's expensive, it's actually kind of cheap, but I think there's better beer. There's, there's better beers out there. You don't, you don't want to be drinking this. And also, Japanese fridges are very small, so the bottle fits very awkwardly. It's kind of why I drank it first. I got like 10 beers tonight. But yeah. Xandra Shear. Oh, wow. That's bad. Uh, signing out from Kamikawa Machi. Kanpai.